Good Monday morning, everybody. Some people, it's Tuesday. The people who are in the future. <laughs> Here we go. All right, week ahead. Let's look at uh, what's going on. A lot of stuff is going on. A lot of noise and a lot of like kind of serious stuff, too, um, that disturbs me a little bit. Which is, I don't know, I, well, you've heard me say this before, maybe I shouldn't be looking at the news so much. Um, anyway, I want to look at, at the week ahead, I want to look at space news, um, but mainly it's, it's going to be more political stuff. I was listening to, uh, I actually watched... MSNBC, uh, Meet the Press, and that woman is so breaking news, you know, she's just, ah, uh, she's like, makes me anxious just listening to her. Uh, it's, it's not, it's not calming at all. It's, and I'm, I was thinking about, you know, the, the presidents. I saw Biden speak uh, about the, the um, auto strike. He's going to go down there and how he's fighting for, and he starts screaming. And I think Kamala Harris, she screams a lot too. Um, we don't even need to get into Jim Jordan, what he does. And then Pete Budalicious came on. And that guy, I'm like, oh, thank you. Thank you. So calm. <laughs> He's got that Obama calmness to him. And I just think that, you know, why aren't these politicians these days? Because ever since Kennedy with the debate, televised debate, it, it's, it's now a media show for our politicians. Why don't they go get training, vocal training, stage presence training? I mean, it's, if you're, if you're on a stage in a big room, it's different than when you're on camera, but they don't get it. And it's irritating as hell. All right, let's see what we got. I'm going to start off with, um, let's do the tough one first. General Miley. He was the Joint Chief of Staff. That's the top dog, if I can say dog, to a general. I mean, he's been being called worse right now, which is, to me, just unbelievable. It's unbelievable. But I got to believe it because it's happening. So, General Miley. Um, Mr. Pumpkinhead, 45, um, brought him out in Lafayette Square for a photo op. Now, I don't know if Miley really didn't know what was going on. He said it was to inspect some National Guard troops or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. But nonetheless, um, Trump is accusing Miley of being woke. And, and even worse, I think, he's comparing Miley to Howard Stern. Yeah. They're both woke. So when I was looking at the news today, Howard Stern popped up and Trump said, Howard Stern is woke. And Howard Stern goes, can you imagine the 45th president of the United States talking about me? When I'm talking shit about something, I don't even know what I'm saying. And he's talking about me. Doesn't he have anything better to talk about? Oh, and the answer to that is no, he doesn't. Okay. If 
five minutes of blah, 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 blah. Pretty soon, 45 is going to start talking about me. Okay, General Miley. My question is, is there anything that we can do to shut this guy up? Even Paul Gosar is, is coming after the general. Uh, what, what's going on with the Republican Party? I mean, it's, they're just, they're tearing everything down. And Gosart, he's just wacky. I mean, his, his whole family thinks he's a whack job. How do they keep getting elected? So I just want to look at, um, Is it a 411 on General Miley or is it, um, do I beat on Pumpkinhead in this? There seems to be something that needs to be in place. Because, and we could read on the code of ethics that need to be in place for the president. The Senate has a code of ethics where Bob Menendez, is that his name, Bobby, Bobby Menendez, whatever the guy is. Um, he's he's going to be um, in court on Wednesday. Wednesday's a big court day, by the way. So he's going to be in court on Wednesday about his corruption charges, <clears throat> which I think it's, it is a witch hunt. I mean, come on. We all have $500,000 stuffed in our suit coats. Well, I, I don't wear suits, but I have them in my robe and gold bars. <clears throat> yeah. Innocent. Um, so the Senate has ethics committees. I, they're going to probably kick him off of his, his uh, Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Um, the Republicans, uh, uh, the, the House of Representatives... Uh, well, with the Republicans in charge now, I don't think they have an ethics committee. I think they have something in name, but they, yeah. Um, the Senate, I mean, they have an ethics code, but they don't have a dress code anymore. Okay, just a little rant on that before I get going. As somebody who worked, did a lot of work at home um, before I was working in my bathrobe, there is a, a point where that I, if, if I didn't get dressed up, then the work would not be as effective, important. I'd let things slide, but if I got dressed up, if I put on work shoes, hugely important, which is kind of weird, right? But that's how you walk. If you're walking in work shoes, then you're kind of walking the walk of work. Um, so with this whole Zoom thing where you get to be in your underwear and just a shirt and tie um, on a Zoom meeting, I don't, I don't think that's right. I think that you have to, um, you know, as they say, dress for success. So I'm in favor of having a dress code for the Senate. You can have casual Fridays, yeah. Um, but generally, you know, let's, let's keep it business attire. Whatever that is these days. Okay. Yikes. I'm going to have to put a timestamp on this. Cards in 10 minutes. At 10 minutes. All right. General Miley. Let's just do a 411 on him and let's see if there's any repercussions for 45. You know, and it just irritates the hell out of me that looking at the, the comments of some of these knuckleheads, 
saying that Miley was is has one boss and that's the president and he needs to pay attention I'm like yeah I kind of get that but but if your boss has no clue of what to do I mean Mr. Captain Bone Spurs come on you're gonna follow him I think there needs to be like a, a, a chain of if you're gonna lead somebody as a president then you at least need to be able to um, have some military training to see how that works the chain of command and then that gets into a whole nother situation and are we going to become a military state? Oh, yeah, right. Nothing's ever easy. Unless we make it easy. Okay. General Milley. Milley, Miley. Did y'all see Miley Cyrus at the Kansas City game? Big news. No, not Miley Cyrus. Um, Taylor Swift. Same. Okay. What's going on, General Milo? So I'm using the Wild Unknown deck. We have the Empress card here. This card in this deck to me, um, it represents during the height of COVID, this was a COVID card for me. Looked like a lung, an infected lung. And I'm kind of going with that because the Empress card has a lot of green around it in other decks. Has a lot of abundance. Is, is giving um, birth to some new idea, to a new way. Which may be true. We're still in the dark night here. Um, but there, there's a sickness is what I'm getting and it's going to be covered with, challenged by a new idea, a new big stick. Now, who is it that said, speak softly and carry a big stick? I think that's what's happening here. Let's just keep going. I got a lot of decks out because I'm going to... Ooh, yeah, there's there's some... Um, <laughs> I need a bigger table. Okay. So, this is Miley in the past, the hermit. Um, keeping his head down not really talking about too much, um, knowing the truth. At the base of the reading, what they're marinating in is the Son of Swords. So this, this Knight of Swords, it feels like there's going to be some kind of legal action But at the top of the reading, we have the Mother of Pentacles. And in this deck, to me, it's more of a, um, it's a comfort. It's a protectiveness. It's a comfort. I'm going to pull some clarifiers on that. And then here we have the Nine of Pentacles, which is um, uh, somebody who knows how to spend money, receive money, but this is a, a protective. This is, in this deck, it feels like it's almost like a four of pentacles, hanging on to things. But this is a protection card um, for me. This nine of pentacles. Miley, internally, daughter of swords. Externally, ace of pentacles. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Hopes and fears are the nine of wands. 
And then the final outcome is the Ten of Pentacles. Moving on. Oof. Eight of Cups. Moving on. This, kind of interesting. I'm going to bring this down so you guys can see. I hope. Hope I can do this relatively easy without dropping things all over the place. Okay. Um, hang on one second. I got. I want to make sure I'm plugged in. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. Okay. Um, General Miley. So we we got something coming forth with the Ace of Wands. It's big. Um, at the base of the reading, we have the Son of Swords and the Daughter of Swords, both kind of um, big truths coming, legal actions possibly coming. There's a protectiveness up at the top, this Mother of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Um, we got a lot of Pentacles here, too, um, in the potential near future. As I said, the Nine of Pentacles, that may feel more like a protection, like both of these cards are kind of hanging on to the the finances the money but this is this is um earth energy too so it's also um being grounded and staying grounded in in truth in the truth down here so internally where he's feeling this daughter of swords it's it's like he he wants to lash out he really uh, i mean cuz he's a military guy come on he wants to he wants to lash out but he's got a little more wisdom coming especially with his star beans helping him externally this is kind of a scary the ace of pentacles Another pentacle, new start, new beginning. Why does it look like a bullseye? Scary to me. Not a big fan of this card in this spread at this moment. Um, the hopes and fears, come on now, is the nine of wands. So even though he has a path, it's... It's really difficult to get up there. Um, it's it's restrictive. He can't do what he wants to do down here with his legal actions. It is restricted, probably in the military code. And what I just heard is he's finding that code very difficult to to manage when nobody else has any codes. So true. The final outcome is the Ten of Pentacles. And again, why does this look like a bullseye to me? This Ten of Pentacles, it's all about family money, um, family projects. When I think and say the family money, family project, family earth, it is all of, I'm going to lift this up, it is all of the branches of military coming together to support him. We have the chariot moving on as a clarifier. And we have the eight of cups as another clarifier. Two movement cards, two moving on cards. So let's see, I'm still a little unclear as to what what the movement is. I mean, he's already, I don't know if he's retired or if he just left his position as Joint Chiefs. Um, certainly, if he hasn't retired, he could be going. But there's a couple of things that, that make me want to go and pull Andrea's cards out, her intuitive cards. And so I want to look at this. What is 
What's the big stick? What's the ace of wands? What is this ace of pentacles? What, 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 what's the movement? Are, is the ace of wands, ace of pentacles in the movement? Is there any correlation to what's going on there? I don't know if y'all can see that, but this is the three letter card. This is the FBI, the CIA, the KGB, all the secret guys. You know, you know that the military, the joint military has a lot of these secret guys that we don't even know. Somebody said, and, and I don't know if this is true or not, that 60% of the military budget is unaccounted for. And I know that we have a lot that are going into um, black holes, projects we just don't know about. I also heard that there is, uh, that we're rebuilding our nuclear arsenal in Los Alamitos? Oh, please, say it ain't so. Okay, back to Miley. What is going on with the ace, two aces in the movement? Bullseye. 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 I'm on to something, but I just don't know what it is. Bullseye. Something strange. Some is it is it a virus? Well, certainly it is. The rhetoric that we have is is a virus. Okay. 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 All right. All right. All right. I just want to make sure I'm. Oh, mystery. That's what she says that is. Mystery male plus fall. Fall. So uh, there is something that's going on. There is some movement um, that is is right on. Well, well, those those bullseyes, the Ace of Pentacles, something something about that. There's 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 a target somewhere. I don't want to go anymore with what I'm feeling on this because this is for entertainment only. But it takes you down a rabbit hole. And I'm more about squirrels than rabbits, you know what I mean? So, um, are they going to be able to muzzle Trump? So, one of the court cases that we have going on right now. Here are the court cases, court news. So um, this week, Meadows is gonna be in Fulton County because he is trying to separate himself. Um, the first time he tried, the judge said, no, you're, you're, you don't need to be in federal court. You can stay in Fulton County. So Meadows, um, is appealing that to the 11th Circuit. So there's documents that are coming in uh, to the court to say why he should, why he shouldn't be tried in Fulton County. So that's coming this week. Both sides need to 
respond to these additional briefs. But Trump, and this is where I'm going, Trump in the D.C. court has to respond to Jack Smith's uh, response to, um, I don't want to say gag order, but I just said gag order. But I don't want to say it, but I did. The, the restrictive language, how's that? Let's just gag him. I mean, he gags us all the time, so let's just gag him. Um, so Trump, is he going to, is somebody, is somebody, some judge, legal, what is, what's, what's going to happen with his Twitter, with his, with his, um, see how old school I am? Twitter. Really? Twitter? Exxon. <laughs> okay, is, is, is Trump going to be silenced? Is someone going to say, we need to put a muzzle on you? Psychic Duck, what do you say? Psychic Duck, do you have any thoughts on this? Oh, yeah. What? Yeah, they're going to muzzle them, you think? Not really, but they're going to try. Okay, that's from Psychic Duck. They're going to try to muzzle them. It's not going to work. Let's see. Can I still read on it? Oh, yeah. Psychic Duck says I could read it. Oh, yeah, who could put you up on the water pump? Yeah, woohoo. Psychic Duck likes water. Okay. Trump. Muscle. Miley. Is Miley going to have something to do with muzzling Trump? Oh, Zai. Ten of Pentacles. This is keeping things together. This is not like a normal Ten of Pentacles in the Rider Waite deck where there's a big family thing. But there is something to do with the family, the military family possibly. What? 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 Let's just keep going on, Trump. Oof. Muzzle. So you have the Six of Wands. Also, Six of Wands, moving in, riding in as a winner. Why? Why? You shush up. I just shushed up my phone. Um, at the base of the reading is the Empress. This is my sickness card. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to leave it at six because I think this tells the story. So... Um, will they be able to muzzle Trump? Yes, they're going to be working on it. They're going, riding in as a winner. So is this Trump riding in as a winner saying they muzzled me? I mean, he's going to try to spin it that way. There is a big sickness that is, that he's marinating in. Um, but he's got legal issues. <laughs> I'm psychic. Did I tell you? He's got legal issues. Trump. I'm not kidding. Um, Father of Swords. This feels like Jack Smith. Just come in. Jack Smith, to me, um, he can bring forth information as the King of Wands, King of Swords. Um, this feels like a Jack Smith to me. The top of the reading, um, they're really trying to balance what to do with this Ten of Pentacles. So Trump keeps throwing stuff out. How do you balance free speech, First Amendment, with you, you are, um, you're going to damage 
people. You're endangering people. And then will they muzzle him? It says walking away from sorrow. The Eight of Cups. I want to do a clarification. Well, let me just keep going with this. Eight of Cups. We have uh, the Six of Pentacles, giving and receiving. Seven of Cups, illusion, delusion. Hopes and fears, new emotional start. Big stick coming at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to do something. We have the Three of Pentacles. And again, this is um, still, I mean, Three of Pentacles, Three of Wands. This is still him being able to um, this is a non-movement card, but all the rhetoric is contained. The passion, the heat, it's being contained. It's not like it, um, they're not like throwing him in jail, but they are going to muzzle him. Let me just see if I can clarify this a little bit. Are they going to muzzle him? Is the Mark Milley comment, is that going to muzzle Donald Trump, Paul Gosar, those knuckleheads? Four swords. Oh, I don't, don't like seeing that. Daughter of Pentacles. Son of Swords. Is someone going to have to get sick before something new comes along where they're going to have to take action? I think someone's going to get hurt. And I... Mm. Mm -mm. I don't like this. Let's switch gears. Um, you know, let's... Before I switch gears, you know, let's just put a protective bubble around people um, that we care about, our institutions, our way of life. We are in such that of, of a huge shift. Um, people are hanging on so tight to the old ways um, that it's, you know, it's 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 tough. Um, but per, put a bubble around the institutions we care about. Okay. Um, you know, and it's not like I care about the military institutions. I think that our military complex is, is we are way too focused on the military. Way too focused um, on spending money that we have no idea what we're, we're, what we're spending money on. It's, that is a cancer. Um, but still, I don't want to see anybody getting hurt. All right, let's stick with um, Pumpkinhead and let's go to Molly Michael because she popped into my awareness when I was reading. I'm going to switch decks. Um, she popped into my awareness when I was reading. You know, does, does Pumpkinhead need to be muzzled? <clears throat> A muzzled pumpkin. I don't know what that looks like, but I'm anxious to find out. Molly Michael, she was Trump's assistant, and she was the one that received classified documents that had to-do lists on the back. Here's your to-do list. Here's what I want you to do. And she looks at it and goes, this is a classified document. Had classified markings on it. Crazy.
crazy world. Um, and then we're going to go into canon. Is she is she going to... Let's just look at this. Michaels. In the document case. Is she okay? Molly Michaels. Ooh. Yeah, I think she's going to be okay. Not without. Ooh. Wow. I think I read too soon. Holy crap. Come on. Final outcome. Please be good. Okay. Wow. Wow. I'm going to drop this down so you can see Molly Michaels. Um, this is a little crazy, right? So we have the five of wands. Just a lot of, a lot of argument with her, right? In the two of cups. And so at first I said, yeah, she's going to be okay. Is this, is everything good? Yeah, she's going to be okay. But then we have the restriction card. We have the death card, which is to me, I'm always looking at a new beginning. Something coming in really fast. New news coming in really fast with this eight of wands. Um, in the potential near future, the five of swords, which is, um, I think she needs to lawyer up. And something's going to be coming at her pretty quick. And I, I, I think it's more of the legal um, environment that she finds herself in that she wasn't expecting. She was um, a, a two of cups person with her employer, Trump. She was working. I like this guy. I like what he stands for. I like the direction that he's moving us in. But now she has to move on to a new beginning. There's legal things coming at her. Internally, she's feeling, oh my God, everybody's against me. She can't listen to the, to, um, 45 attorneys anymore. She's turning her back on them. Um, it's a winning at any cost. And in the external position, thank you for this one, is riding in as a winner. So in her world that she knew before with this Two of Cups energy, that is dying She's starting something new. She is going to be riding in as a winner, but not without these two of two five of wands and two five of swords. Verbal and an almost action conflicts coming at her. Her hopes and fears card. Five of cups. Sadness. She's like, oh my God, what happened? What did I just get into? What did I just step into? Pumpkin pies, obviously. Stinky old pumpkin pies. And um, um, but she she's crying over those three cups, but she has two others behind her. So she's she's not all bad, that bad. She is moving on. Death moving on. She's getting her wish, and look, she's got the Fool card, a new journey. So right now, things are really crazy for her. Um, this is not what she signed up for, and she is moving on. It's not going to be as easy as she, as she thinks it should be. I mean, it, it's kind of like... It's kind of like um, Millie, right? Miley, Millie, Miley. He signed up to serve his president and then just found it to be this craziness where, where um, the, the, the commander in chief was 
didn't have any guardrails. And or it, it, I mean, it feels like, uh, and it's overwhelming to me, even thinking about this, but it feels like we are um, getting a whole list of things to do. And I heard this on another channel too. Um, a punch list is what this guy said. And I went, yeah, but it's, it's too big. It's too big to, to fix, it seems like. Um, huh. It's crazy. I mean, how can we, how can we fix this punch list, right? Of all the things that we need to address, ethics in the Supreme Court, ethics in the presidency. Huge, well, huge. Um, a dress code in the Senate, that's gonna be the hardest one. Um, yeah, anyway, I already went over that. Um, let's look at Cannon. Is she gonna be pressured to move this on? This documents case down in Mar-a-Lago, is she gonna be pressured to move this on. There's one guy that uh, she still hasn't ruled on anything. And it's like so slow. So the Mar-a-Lago case down in Florida with Judge Cannon, is she gonna be pressured to move it to a swift conclusion? Ha <laughs> ha. That was Psychic Duck laughing. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, but she is working together with somebody. Who would that be? Is she going to be pressured to move this along? She can't. She can be moved. Ooh. King of Wands. King of Information. This is, uh, you know, I, I mentioned before that the King of Wands, the King of Swords, they can both be my Jack Smith cards. I'm not feeling this as a Jack Smith card. Psychic Duck agrees, not Jack Smith. Okay. Queen of Wands. Someone higher than her. It's gonna, is gonna Oh, I'm going to need Psychic Duck for this one. I am definitely going to need Psychic Duck for this one. Wow. You want to look at these cards. What? The final clarifier is yes. Let's drop this down, take a look at it. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, let me move all this out of the way so that I can spread out. This is... Okay. So, Canon, will she be forced to move it along? So, we've got the King of Wands being followed, being covered by, crossed with, enhanced with the Queen of Wands. So both information, King and Queens. The way that Psychic Duck told me to interpret this is somebody higher than Eileen Cannon because she doesn't know anything. I mean, this is what, her third or fourth trial? So she is reaching out to people higher up than her than her, this Queen of Wands. Um, at the base of the reading is strength. Really? Okay. In the past, the past is the lovers. Okay, so her love for Mr. Pumpkinhead is 
the top of the reading is causing a little, I don't want to say seven of cups because that's up here, but it, it's, it's a little unclear as to the direction of where this is going with this seven, with this moon card. There are things that are coming out of the water that um, may be coming to light more. And it's all about the King of Pentacles, her love for the King of Pentacles, her love for pumpkins. Internally, is Eileen Cannon going to be forced to move this along? She's got the Emperor energy, someone higher up, the top dog in her world, whatever world that is. Externally, Four of Swords. The Four of Swords. Um, is she going to have to step down? Is she, it, it feels like with this card, as I look at it, that this is, um, she's just being, uh, uh, she's a pawn. She's, she's not, yeah, she's just, she's just a puppet. Thank you, Psychic Duck. She's just a puppet. Someone else is pulling her strings. She's just there for show, being there. She's, you know, hmm, yeah, I'm the judge, right? Hopes and fears is that there is an offer that she didn't look at. Um, four cups. Interesting that the two fours. Another four. Um, final outcome is a new beginning for her. Is she going to be forced to move along? There's a little confusion with this. But something big happens. This is my Fred Flintstone card. Bam, bam. Something big is going to happen. And I think this is Jack Smith. Let's see. Let's see. little clarification. So I'm going to get my little, my little clarification cards out. What is this? So the thing that I didn't get, is this going to be happening quickly? I didn't get that. I got that she is going to be overridden. She's being played by somebody that is, you know, pulling the strings on this. But so, something's going to happen that's going to give her a new beginning, the final outcome. <clears throat> we may not even know about it because we have that Seven of Cups. <clears throat> and, <clears throat> excuse me, that Seven of Cups may be, um, may be what causes her to move on. She doesn't know how to deal with this big um, information stick. And so she picks the wrong cup to choose. And that gets her. That gets her in legal trouble. Talk to me about this big stick. Talk to me about the outcome. Death, seven of cups. Ace of wands. What is that? I'm looking at this card and I see the sword of truth buried, stuck in the ground. That's her. Talk to me about these three cards. Talk to me about these three cards. No. Talk to me about these three cards. No. Really? Really? Should I tempt the fates? Should I? 
No. Yeah, I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm tempting the fates. Talk to me about these three cards. I'm living on the edge. Talk to me about these three cards. Well, they talk to me. Magic. Feminine energy. Flip. So something's going to happen because of this. Something is going to happen because she says no. She picked the wrong cup. She was, she has a choice. She has some kind of ch legal choice that she needs to rule on. She rules on it incorrectly. And then magic happens. Okie dokie. Cool, thank you. All right, one more. Let's look at space news. Space news. Should rehang my, I believe. I don't know what to call it. I believe something. My aliens in robes. Space news. So, this, this, um, I mean, we didn't even get into, I mean, it's a big week. We didn't even get into the, the, um, whether the government was going to shut down. It's cray, 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 cray. Um, but what we did in space, six, seven years ago, we sent this rocket into space. And it was going to go to an asteroid and collect material from the asteroid. And then it comes back to Earth. And as it passes by Earth, it's going to jettison this packet of information. It looks like a little space capsule. Packet of information. And it lands it down on the Earth as the spaceship continues on to its next mission. Six, seven years this has been going on. It dropped this packet of galactic material back on Earth, and we can't even balance or put together a budget to fund the government. Let's get the politicians out of there. Let's put some scientists in there. What are we going to learn? from this packet of information. One of the things that I thought was really cool when I was looking at some of the images, there were two women that were carrying, carrying this, whatever it is, this little space module somewhere. And I went, hmm, in the 50s, it would have been two guys with horned rim glasses. And this was two women in ponytails. I'm like, yay. I don't know why that made me happy, but it did. Okay. What are they going to find? What are they going to find? Here we go. I'm using my Galactic Heritage cards. Hmm. Really? Really? 
What are we going to find? We're going to find a mirror reflection. What? Let's drop this down, make some sense out of it. Okay, so I just did my, this is just my spread of when I use some of these intuitive cards, I just bring it down to general, down to a focus. So we have our galactic lineage refining it. And I go, oh, well, because I'm refining it down here. Um, it's beyond wisdom. And here we have blind enthusiasm. So as Psychic Duck tells me, um, present, parallel, past. So this is the very first card, Beyond Wisdom, the Founder's Creator. Refining Galactic Lineage. We're going to discover through our blind enthusiasm, we had no idea what we were going to do, what we're getting. None. Let's just go find something. We, there could be something that is going to, um, could come back and wipe out the whole planet, some disease, some virus, whatever. We don't know, right? We're going into this blind. But it started off with our galactic lineage saying, let's, let's go check this out. Let's go see, and we're being guided by the founders, by the creator. Things beyond wisdom. As we focus it down, we have our good intentions. And then we have stubbornness, which... Are we going to learn anything from this? Or are we just going to be stuck in our ways and not really look at what we get? And then what we get is a mirror reflection of our galactic lineage, of our co-creativeness. Let me see. Did I get this right? What is this stubbornness card? Let's look at that stubbornness card. What does that mean for us? New beginning. Queen of Swords off with its head. And the difficult road. But not that difficult. We're going to come up with some new truth. And this is us hanging on to the past too much. Um, there's a new beginning right, with this um, uh, galactic, refining galactic lineage, we're going to come up with some new awareness, and it's going to be comforting. It's not going to be really scary, but we're going to have to let go of the old way. That's what that stubbornness is. And it's, it, it's a tough road, but with our stubbornness, we're going to stay on that road. Drop this down more. We're going to stay on that road for the new beginning. And really, it's, this is so crazy to me. We don't even need to do that because we can, it's just a mirror reflection of who we are. There it is. Yikes, Mike. That's getting really hard to move. Okay. I want to thank you guys for watching. I will try to put some timestamps on this because this is kind of long. Um, again, thank you guys for watching. Have a good week. Peace and love.